Well, hello monkeys. Hey, welcome back to the circus. Today we're going to review a box and a sticker. I thought you guys would want something different than a knife. So we're just going to take a look at these today and skip the knife. Of course, I'm kidding. This is, yes, another Dam Designs knife. This is an older knife. This is the old sticker and the old box, which are what come with this knife. Here is the new box, the new sticker. So it has been upgraded since then. Updated, I shouldn't say upgraded. It's still a cardboard box and a sticker at the end of the day. There is, however, if I can get into it, a microfiber cloth inside with the logo. The Billy logo is what Adrian calls this. Anyway, Adrian D'Souza is the owner of Damn Design. It's not just knives, he does EDC and other things. So he has fidget spinners and beads and uh, bottle opener type fidget things and all kinds of stuff. Go check him out. I'll have the link for Damn Designs and Adrian's IG page in the description below. Please check him out. If you haven't seen my videos for the Basilisk and Bendigo here, my other two Damn Designs knives, you should check that out. I'll put the card up there. You will understand how I feel about the company. Now, Let's get onto this knife. But in the end, overall, this video is really more a review of Damn Designs and some of his practices than it is this specific knife. And let me tell you why. This knife is no longer available in this form. Right now, uh, I don't think he has any knives available on the site. He just ended a drop not long ago, so those orders are being fulfilled, which means there will be a third wave drop of these soon. So keep an eye on his site if this or one of the others is a knife that appeals to you. Like I said, this knife doesn't exist in this form anymore, and all of the nitpicks I'm going to talk to you about with this knife are no longer an issue except the aesthetics which are a personal choice um that's up to you so yes this is not my personal aesthetic i don't like a long sweeping dramatic clip point i like to have a little bit of a flat edge on my blade before it goes into a belly and this blade is all belly those two issues still exist on this model of knife when you get it. Now, my other issues, all of them forward of the pivot here. D2 used in the blade. We'll get to that in a second. Thumb stud only opening. Satin finish. Uh, that concludes my issues with this knife. All of them are with this blade, and most of them have been dealt with. This knife no longer comes in D2. The reason I don't like D2, see if we can get in there. See that... Uh, Corrosion down there. You might also be able to see a black dot with some stain around it here. And a little bit of stain over here as well. Uh, this came to me used from Gary over at The Last Ranger. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it again. Gary gave away a bunch of knives for his birthday a couple weeks ago, and I ended up with this one. I appreciate you, my friend. He wanted somebody to have this knife who would deal with that corrosion and that, that staining, the residue, whatever it is on this blade. So I am working on that, and then I'm just going to give this knife away. Anyway, I knew beforehand that this was not my design aesthetic as far as this blade goes. Now, this knife did complete the three-handle options that Adrian has on all of his knives. There are basically three main handles, handle designs on his full-size flippers. Now there's a fourth because he added the Gen and Oni XL, but like I said, of the three main full-size handle designs he's had for a while, these are them. And it's kind of... Uh, descending this is my favorite handle design it has no hump on the back it's just a long continuous curve fits my hand wonderfully this one 
has this hump in the back that just hits me in the wrong spot. It hits right about here and there are some tendons under there. So if I wanted to do some really hard work with it, which is not what I use my folders for, it would probably bother me a little bit. Not much, it wouldn't shred my hand or anything like that. It would probably just leave what felt like a bit of a bruise there at the end of the day. This knife also has that hump in the back. It's a little less pronounced and this handle is narrower, which makes it ever so slightly more comfortable than this one. Not quite as comfortable as this one. That's it. Other than that, with this model, you're now gonna see this finish on the blade instead of satin. 14C28N in these blades, also available in this blade now, as well as all of the other models of knife that Adrian makes. You don't have to worry about that satin finish. You don't even have to worry about the thumb studs because he took those off and put a void in the blade so you got a flipper slot now. This last run came in Jade G10 like this, or tan, or titanium handle scales as an upgrade for about $50 more. You could go to titanium from G10. <sighs> and then if you wanted to pay about $20 more, you could go from 14C28N, which let me tell you, it has been an amazing steal on these knives. I love his 14C28N. But you could go from 14C28N to S35VN if you prefer that steal for like 20 bucks more. But they're all wonderful knives. You get this G10, which feels kind of smooth and dense and very nice. I like the Amari feel, bro. It feels almost like porcelain to me. This jade feels very similarly. I'll back you guys out so it feels like I'm moving less under the camera there. But yes, it's got skeletonized liners in there. Even under the pocket clip back here has a little bit of skeletonizing on the lock side. You have T10 pivot, that pocket clip, no problem. Countersunk, flathead screws. The only problem I have every now and then is sometimes uh, the, the bill here is a little short. So your pants hem may wanna grab the edge of this and not go under. So you may have to lift it up, give it a little, little help. JG10 backspacer as well with a hidden lanyard attachment and a pocket tab filler clip, or filler plate. The obligatory and very noticeable, recognizable Dam Designs pivot treatment. The only billboarding is the Billy logo there, and the blade steel on the other side, and that holds true on the others as well. You get the Billy logo and 14C28N. So, this one will basically come looking just like these as far as the blade goes and just go check him out adrian's knives uh punch way above their weight they are in my opinion the best or at least one of the best if not the very best bang for your buck you get for a knife they are not small they are not light they are just so smooth right out of the box i I fell in love the first time I handled one. And this one, honestly, other than just kind of being the, the ugly duckling of the group, as far as my preferences and aesthetics, it's smooth. It's just, uh, you shouldn't be able, well, I'm glad you can. I, you should be able to get knives this nice, this nice for this price everywhere. Uh, Adrian is uh, has got a business model that, that should be busting other companies. They should be fighting to get in on this. I love these knives. Even the ugly one. Um, this one's going to get cleaned up and given away to one of you guys. But I am so glad I got to experience it. Thank you again, Gary. Um, like I said, it's not my bag of tricks, but it is further confirmation that Damn Designs is doing an amazing job, and he's doing it at a ridiculous price point. 
I got these two for $45 on early pre-sale. Uh, Adrian generally has three waves, so you get early pre-sale, then pre-sale, and then you get to what I call the third wave is when he drops the extras that he bought and holds some back for warranty work and stuff like that. The third wave on the latest drop is should be coming up before long, so keep an eye out if these are something that appeal to you. <clears throat> If you are a D2 fan, if you like satin finish, if you like a dramatic clip point and a blade that is all belly, you can't wait to get your hands on some G10, and you like a big beefy knife, well, hold on to your hats, because as soon as I get this cleaned up, it's going out the door. So it'll be given away soon, but until then, and I hope I see you again. Stay tuned. It'll be going to you guys. Yeah. Here. You. That's it. That's all I got for you today. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. And a fourth one today, go check out Damn Designs. Do yourself a favor. If you haven't experienced them yet, check them out. The best pocket knife for the dollar you can get on the market today is right here on this table. And that's just my opinion, but I am very, very serious about that. A great steal, a big, beefy beater knife that didn't cost so much you're going to be afraid to use it is right here, right here, and right here. So check them out. I'll put the links down in the description. Thank you again to Gary at The Last Ranger. If you haven't checked him out, check him out as well. His links will be down in the description as well. Awesome human being, great member of the knife community, and a fellow Marine and friend. Thank you, my friend. I hope you're having a great day, a great week. I hope everyone's off to a great week. Stay well, be kind, do good, and I'll see you soon. Much love. I'm out.